starting the morning of June 12th. Mark that on your calendar. You no longer need to show a vaccination card and negative coronavirus test when you get back to the United States. I wanna show you something. Look at this, we're up in the Alps. Massive glacier up there. Over there is the famous Galibier climb. Stopping for a rest here, having a coffee, but great news for you Americans who wanna travel to Europe this summer and beyond because it's getting easier and easier and easier. But first, let me just sit down for my coffee. Okay, that's done, let's go. Before, one of the biggest hangups, if you wanted to travel to Europe, was getting your coronavirus test or showing a vaccine when you flew back home to the United States. Europe ahead of the summer 2020, after the long two years of coronavirus, every country step by step has been easing or completely eliminating their rules for visitors coming over to Europe. Italy, for example, you no longer need to show a vaccination card, you no longer need to show a negative coronavirus, or you no longer need to show a COVID recovery certificate. You're free to enter the country any way you want, just like how it was back before 2020. And most countries have now eliminated the requirement to wear a mask in Europe. And even on flights, you don't have to wear a mask. Only in select countries like Italy and Spain do you still have to wear a mask on the flights. Well, this morning I wake up to a message on my smartphone. I can't show you the message right now because I'm driving down this pass in the Alps. Basically, it's a message from the US Embassy in Rome and this is big news. I'm signed up to their message alert system because I'm American living in Italy abroad and they update me on all sorts of things, coronavirus, terrorism threats, voting in elections, everything you need to know as an American living abroad. Well, the message, it's great news because effective immediately, well, at least starting the morning of June 12th, mark that on your calendar, you no longer need to show a vaccination card and negative coronavirus test when you get back to the United States. The CDC mandate ends. It's no longer valid for flights into the United States. The catch is for non-U.S. citizens going to the U.S., you have to show proof of vaccination. So if you live in the U.S. and you're not a citizen, be ready to show your vaccination card or have a vaccination card when you're flying to the U.S. Or if you're simply traveling to the United States to visit, and why not? It's a great place to visit. You're gonna need to have a vaccination card. These are the CDC guidelines and they're still in place, even though many places around Europe don't even require that. Look at this, this is true mountain alpine air. I'm up here at 1200 meters in the French Alps. I love it. If you're worried about the rules or if you wanna have some more clarification, here's the screenshot of the email that I got today. Comment down below, have you traveled recently? Let us know your experiences traveling to Europe or around the world and back to the United States. And now with this rule change, do you think it'll encourage you to make that big trip abroad? Down in the description, I'm gonna put a link to the CDC, the US Health website, so you have the official information. If you're going back home from a trip abroad outside the United States, or if you plan on visiting the United States. If you're enjoying these videos, please give it a thumbs up. That helps out so much with the YouTube algorithm and helps this channel grow as I'm approaching 10,000 subscribers. So many of you out there have already given us super thanks, but many of you don't even know about it. So if you do want to support me and help me make these travel videos as I travel everywhere around the world, please consider hitting that super thanks. It'd be much appreciated. And you may be wondering, why am I up here in the French Alps? Well, if you watched my last video, French Travel Tips, you'll know I traveled here to France, to the southeast part of France, to follow the bike race, the Criterium du Dauphiné, and all the big cycling stars are racing here. We have Primoz Rolich, Wout Van Aert from the team's Jumbo Visma. These guys this weekend are heading into the high mountain stages, and it's an important stage race as we get on. Look at this, here's a map as we get on to the Tour de France. Just stepping here into the press room, gotta be kinda quiet. 
And look at this right here. Here's the classification. Belgian champion Wout Van Aert leads the race as we head into these final two big alpine mountain stages that close out this eight day stage race. Every day I've been changing hotels, eating so much good food, drinking so much good wine, and just seeing the beautiful countryside all around the southeast of France up here to the Alps. So to summarize, June 12th, Sunday morning, that's a very important date for you world travelers because no longer do you have to show any of those crazy documents if you're a U.S. citizen heading back to the United States. Non-U.S. citizens will still need to show their vaccination card, but the great news is that traveling around the world and heading back to the United States or traveling to the United States has become so much easier for summer 2022. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. If you want to see all sorts of other types of videos like this one, click that red button down below. And if you want to see a video on traveling to this country, France, my travel tips, check out this video.